Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where I am back from Blade Show West 2022, and I've got to say, guys, I had one phenomenal time. It was so much fun to finally meet some of these people in person, put faces with names, get out there and meet manufacturers, retailers, just knife collectors and enthusiasts, YouTubers. It, it, it couldn't have went better. It really couldn't have. The positivity and energy was just through the roof and I couldn't be more energized to uh to keep going with uh with just what I'm doing here. And I got some plans in the works and I'm really excited to get it all going. But uh I thought it would be really fun to go over what knives I ended up buying because you know I wasn't gonna go out there and not buy at least one knife. Well I actually got five. Yeah, yeah, I got five knives. Um and I also got a lot of stickers as you can see here. I got some Protex stickers, some Mr. Mr. Design stickers. Keep an eye out for him. He's got some really cool stuff coming up in the future. Um, NAF Company, the Dessert Warrior, Kaiser, of course, Stop by Reef Knives. This was just a small sampling um, of some of the stickers and some of the, the retailers and manufacturers I met. Um, but I am uh, very excited to bring to you the knives I got. And we're going to see if I could stay under my $1,000 budget. So we're going to kind of get these all out of the way here. And I'll be putting these on uh, Pelican cases and who knows what else. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to set myself a firm budget of $1,000. And I, to be honest, I thought it was going to be very, very easy to stay under that. Um, but I don't know. It, it it got very hard towards the end. So uh, we're going to start taking a look at them and just see exactly what all I got. And uh, we'll see if I was able to stay under that $1,000 budget. First up, th this was the hardest decision when at the start of Blade Show. It was like, what booth do I go to first? Um, I wanted to play it safe. And I thought, you know what? Easily one of the most solid manufacturers that was there was ProTech. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go to ProTech because there was a couple knives there I really had my eye on. There was an exclusive, a, B a Blade Show West 2022 exclusive that I really wanted to get on. And that was the first one I got. And uh, what we have here is a smaller ProTech. And it's actually one that I've really wanted to get on the channel for quite a while and get a review out. So you can expect a review of this guy coming. And uh, what we have here, I can get it out of here is the ProTech Runt, but this is not just any Runt. This is the Blade Show West exclusive, number 250. I got number five of 50, so one of the earlier ones. And what we have here is a pearl inlay with a Magna Cut blade. Yeah, for 150 bucks. Obviously, I gotta tell you guys what I paid for on all these knives so we can see if I stayed in my budget. 150 bucks for this guy. Um, for just for the exclusivity of it and the blade steel, um, and the little, even the inlay, the pearl inlay is really nice. Um, uh, yeah, I, this was well worth 150 bucks. And this was kind of like the perfect first knife for me to get because this was also kind of like the souvenir knife, right? This was my, Blade Show West was my first major show. Um, so I really wanted to get something to remember that by and this doesn't get any better. Does not get any better. Um, and I gotta say, while I'm gonna hold a lot of the stuff back for the actual review of it, um, there's a lot of things about this knife that I really like. Man, that, that snap is, uh, real, but it just looks fantastic. It's a super useful blade shape. Very nice, especially on a little knife. I mean, this right here, this is just, yeah, this is just phenomenal. It just works extremely well. Uh, couldn't be happier to get one of these. And I was surprised. I thought these would sell out in like the blink of an eye. Um, but they didn't. There was, I believe there was still some left. I... <sighs> No, I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm positive there was some left later in the day on Friday, and I think there was a little left Saturday morning, too. There may have been a few left, uh, but very, very nice offering from ProTech, and a very nice little knife. Uh, just a very, very good one. Was really happy to get that one, so that kind of got me off. Uh, that got me off on the start, and at that point, I was like, I don't know where to go next. I'm just going to put this in here and kind of take care of that later but I didn't know where to go next because there was all these booths and I just so happened to be by this one booth um from a person in the community that I really really enjoy I enjoy what he's brought to the community and how much he's changed the community since he's been involved with Blade HQ and that happened to be NAF Company and Ben Banters and uh so I had to pick up one of these guys here nice sturdy box okay open 
open sesame. There we go. Uh, <laughs> this here is the NAFS Lander. And I got to say, when this knife came out, I wasn't very excited about it. Um, there wasn't a lot that really, like, wowed me. D2 steel, G10 scales, um, kind of a unique size. This is, like, an odd shape for me in terms of the size. Like, it, it's not super, super small, but it is small. But even, like, the Elementum is bigger than it. So I was kind of expecting it to be the same size as the Elementum, and it is definitely not. It feels considerably smaller in the hand than the Elementum. But it just felt really good. And another thing that really kind of blew me away by this was the action. The action is phenomenal on this guy. Feels great in hand, of course. I'm going to give a review of this as well. I, I Since I'm already seeing some stuff about it, maybe I'll pair it with a Pro, the ProTech run and give you guys kind of like a little brief down review of it. But it it just really, really surprised me. I was very pleasantly surprised by it. So I had to pick one up and they had a special to where you got a free set of scales with it. So I got some OD Green G10 scales that I'll also be throwing on this. And uh, this actually, this stayed in my pocket for the entire weekend. I went on some hikes with it and it is just a very, very nice little knife. This is a perfect knife that is small, but not too small. Like for me, this is what I think of when I think of a small knife. Um, without being like a fifth pocket knife. This is as small as I would want to get without it being a fifth pocket knife is the best way to put it. And it's just really, really good, really smooth. I thought for sure this was manufactured by like we and we or Civivi, uh, actually manufactured by QSP. So very interesting there. I did not know that. I immediately assumed we knife, uh, manufactured this, but found out later in the show that it was actually QSP. So yeah. Learn something new every day, but this is just a great knife to middle finger flick and just an excellent one to carry in the pocket. A lot of scale options for it, and I'm sure there'll be even more as time passes. So an excellent option from just a really good dude in the community, too. I actually met Ben there, and I met his wife, Athena. They're both fantastic people and uh, definitely, definitely a brand and people that I want to support. So the NAF Company Lander, or NAF's Co, NAF's Co Lander. Uh, definitely worth checking one of these out if you like the smaller fidgety knives because they are damn good. Um, then I started walking back around again. And I walked around and I, I got some videos of other knives, like some cool knives I thought were interesting to get some shorts on. And somehow, some way, I ended up back at ProTech. Oh, by the way, the NAFS Lander was 58 bucks. Um, I ended up back at ProTech. And there was another knife that I've always been wanting to get one of, but there's so many flavors of it. I just wasn't sure exactly which flavor I wanted. Um, and then I came across this. And when they showed the picture of it on Instagram a day or two before the show, I thought, eh, you know what? That, that's really cool, but I don't really think it's for me. I, I, it's not quite, I don't know, D doesn't get me too excited. It looked amazing, but it just wasn't quite my thing. And then I got to the booth and I looked at it and I thought, damn it. This is my thing. I have to have one. So I bought it. And what we have here is the ProTech SBR. But this is a very different SBR. This here is an SBR with an abalone inlay. And before I even open this blade, let's just admire this button inlay. I honestly don't think I could have gotten a better combination, a better split cut of abalone to look like that. Three distinct color lines. It's perfect i was so so geeked out when i saw that button i was like yes i got the perfect button inlay and then i pushed the button and this fired out this sapphire blue blade um i should know all the technical terms and how to describe this blade coating but i don't because the day was just overwhelming and i let's see what does it say here sapphire blue blade Abalone. So it's a certain type of finish they put on the blade. Um, from what Dave said, it helps with corrosion resistance, helps with wear resistance, and it does just look pretty badass. And I love this combo. This was another one. I saw the picture on Instagram and I thought, eh, I don't know about it. And then I saw it in person. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is this is the this is the SBR that I've been wanting. And I hopped on it. And this one was not cheap. Now, it was actually everything at Protect's booth. And this was the case with a lot of other booths. Not every booth, but at Protect, all the knives were marked down for like a show special. So I, the run was 150 and Now, that one won't be available at other retailers. But I believe this will be available at other retailers. Um, but probably at a higher price, a considerably higher price from what Dave was saying. I got this one for 320 bucks. So I'm assuming it's probably going to be 
maybe somewhere in like the 360 to 380 range when it hits retailers. Um, I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me on it, but um, maybe just keep your eyes peeled and see exactly what it turns out to be at retailers. But I, oh God, I just love this. I thought it was so awesome. Um, oh, kicks like a mule. That button is just mesmerizing in the blue blade. Love this SBR. This is instantly one of my favorite Protex and uh, one that is going to be in the collection for uh, quite possibly forever just because of uh, just because it's that cool and because I like it that much. The Protec SBR, uh, the Sapphire Blue Blade, and Abalone Inlay. And so now we're kind of getting up there in price. I'm, I'm starting to flirt with, uh, let's see, over 500 bucks. Yeah, I'm over 500 bucks at this point. And that was the end of day one. That was the end of Friday. Um, but then later that night... At the Kaiser meetup, um, I met a gentleman by the name of Dave from American Edge, and he was carrying one of these bad boys. Um, it's uh, this is obviously a Heretic, and guys, I gotta say, I I have been sleeping on Heretic because I discovered Heretic this week and this weekend, and they are amazing. And anyway, Dave had this Heretic in his pocket, and I was like, Hey, man, can I see that? And I liked it so much, I was like, damn, I got to get one of these. And he said, well, you're in luck because we actually have some for sale. So I bought one. The first thing to start my Saturday off of Day 2 at Blade Show, I picked this up. And this one here is pretty mind-blowing to me. What we have here is the Heretic Cleric 2. And uh, there's a lot of things that are just very, very awesome about this knife. Obviously, there's definitely a full review coming, so I'm not going to take too much time. But look at that. I believe it's 4.2. I think it's a 4.2 or 4.1 inch blade. Magna Cut Steel. Um, action on this. So good. This is... Arguably the most impressive OTF I've ever handled. Well, okay, pause, one step back. I actually handled a Hawk deadlock that weekend as well. So this is arguably the second most impressive OTF knife I've ever handled. Um, but I want to get more time of it in the pocket and in hand and just, you know, using it um, before I can confidently say that because there, I still have a couple other OTF knives that I really like. And yeah, I just got to give it more time before I go making a bold statement like this. But the solidity of this knife, nothing, there's very, very, very little rattle. Like, this is just such a solid OTF, and it's such a big OTF. The slider up here is so damn good. The action, it, it I don't know if there is. I don't know if there's ball bearings under this. I'm going to have to do a little more research on this knife because I really don't know a lot about it. But I just like the way it looks so much. I had to freaking get it. Serial number 304. Pocket clip that's awesome. Um, the stainless steel inlays. Kind of have a little love-hate relationship with them. But I like them enough to pull the trigger. And I was so happy to get this guy. Um, I'm still super geeked out about this knife. It is just awesome. It's not, it's not a true everyday carry for me. Listen to that. Oh, the, the, the retraction of the blade is just as badass as the deployment of the blade. Um, but no, I, I, I'm definitely going to do a full review on this because there's a little, a little more I want to handle with it and get comfortable with it before I can keep talking about it. But as of right now, I'm blown away by this knife. I think it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I will have more to say about Heretic um, later on in that full review. But... That was 420 bucks. So that put us just under a thousand dollars. So that was pretty much, for the most part, my budget. Now, the problem with that is I told you guys I got five knives. I didn't get four. So <laughs> there is one more, and ironically, it's a knife that I've reviewed, and I didn't quite say all the best things about it. I was walking around and I came across Vero Engineering and I stopped and looked at it and I always loved the design of this knife, but there was one part about the knife that I absolutely hated because I thought it was a legit hot spot. And then I noticed they had changed it and made it better. And this here is the Vero Engineering Axon with an improved clip. And my I really I, I really hammered on this clip during my review, but Oh, it is just so, the action, the detail on this one is perfect. Um, I've always loved this design. 
Um, I did have some problems with it. I know the biggest issue I had from my review, and I haven't watched that review in a long time, I should probably go back and check on it, was um, the, the actual clip. It didn't have that flat top up there. It just kind of went straight up, and it, it was a hot spot for me. But it actually feels really good in hand now that it doesn't have that, that they kind of flattened it off. There's no irritation there. And this cross-cut carbon fiber is great. Love the way that looks. And then just this blade. I mean, look at that. It is so good. Huge fan of this design. It's such a different design. It is also a front flipper. And the front flipper is pretty good on it. Um, you know, it's it's not like the best front flipper in the world. But what really makes this knife great for me is that. Even, with, even though it's not a full hole cutout, um, it's still just extremely easy to middle finger flick this. It just bites your nail. And it's so, so good. And just those very, very unique ergos in design. Um, yeah, Vero does some pretty sweet stuff. And I was so glad to see them improve that clip. And when I saw the price on this, these are normally like $330. And this was a show special $270. So, I mean, I kind of had to, right? Right? And back me up here. So I bought one. And uh, by buying this, I did go over my budget. Uh, leaving our grand total at $1,218. But let's, let, let me bring these back out here. You guys, tell me, tell me, I mean, worth it, right? I mean, come on. This, oh man, I love that SBR. And then this guy right here, this, this little pocket sword. Um, yeah, it was a great show. And guys, what I really want to end on with this is the way, where did I put my room? Second, here it is. We are not organized today. We are just not. Okay, here we go. So these are them. These are the five $1,218 worth of knives here. Actually more because if you didn't, if you weren't at Blade Show, these would have costed you more than that. So that's it guys, let me know. Did, did I get my money's worth? I think so. Regardless, I am happy. Could not have had a better time at Blade Show. I am already ready to go for Blade Show in Georgia in June or July next year. I am already amped for that. I will be there. I hope you will all be there. And I guys really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know what you think about these. And until the next one, I'm out.